Hi, Scorpio. How's it going? Hope all is well, of course. Let's see who and what is coming your way. Who, what? What's this energy here? Liquid courage. And hookup. Okay. <laughs> Don't be surprised if someone in your environment, Scorpio, is giving you signals of attraction because they feel turned on with the hookup energy. This talks about casual relationships and flings. It also says one night stands. So this person, this could have to do, like, I don't know if they're going out and there's drinking involved because that's what's going on there. So this could be the setting, like a restaurant or a bar, but definitely there's someone that you're coming in contact with that is involved in this kind of energy and they're bringing it towards you. One more on this person. Addiction. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. And travel. Well, sure. I mean, now that we're on the topic, this may be someone who does indulge from time to time. And you could know this, of course. But this is also talking about a person not allowing space anymore. So if there was space between you two, that's not going to happen anymore. A person's trying to come in with a fling type energy. So show me Scorpio. Secret crush. Oh, so you're crushing on success right now. You could be crushing on someone who is successful. Maybe this is something that you're attracted to, but you're, you're yearning for success. This could have to do with your finances, of course. Yeah. Wow. Very strongly. So, so text message. I feel like you're talking to somebody about this. You're talking to someone about money, about work, what you're doing, what you're going through, um, how you're earning. You, perhaps it's something new that you're doing or you need to do. And I feel like this is going to bring in communication. So you may like someone because they're successful in life. Perhaps they've acquired a lot. That could be what's going on here. Now, of course, sometimes this is vice versa, Scorpio. So get in where you fit in. But this is how the energy came out for you. So what is the dynamic with Scorpio and this person? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, someone has somebody. Somebody has somebody. All right. That's the dynamic, my dear. Just plain and simple. This person with kind of like a party life or very excitable, lusty energy, they kind of love, maybe this is like a romantic is kind of the vibe. They love love. They love to be sensual. They're, they're into experience and that's what they're coming toward you with. And you're like, Hey, practical, you know, money talks or I'm trying to be successful in life. Somehow you're meshing with this person because of this, this dynamic, which is very interesting, right? <laughs> we could speculate, but anyway, you've got some third party energy coming through. Yikes. All right. And the snake. So, I mean, that by itself is already a red flag. Okay. Maybe it's a pink flag. Let's say that, but whatever. Deception, shady temptation and enemy. All right. Ooh, it's getting kind of tricky, my dear. Let's go ahead. We are gonna look a little deeper, of course. I'm trying to pick a an appropriate deck for this energy. This may not be it, but I mean, I don't know. For some reason, let's do it. All right, let's see this person. I kind of want to use a more dark energy, but all right. This is more light. Okay. So, um, the world card. So this person is in the world card. Yeah. And that kind of, it, you know, that makes sense. And here comes, well, Hey, I don't want to miss my train. Someone's rushing through. All right. So this is like, perhaps things were cut off in a way between you and this person at one point. 
if you know them still, um, maybe it's a new person, but I'm kind of getting like, you know, this world card is referring to some sort of an ending that's occurred. Perhaps this person is going through a change. They're going through an ending. Um, if you did experience an ending with this person, it was kind of like maybe out of the blue or swift. Okay. Just kind of like cut communication. However, I'm also getting that someone is returning. Yeah. Not only to you, but to an area and it could be like a local area is what I want to tell you. It's like, cause this feels like missing a train or I have to make my flight. That's kind of the energy they're coming in this way. What is this uh, world? It's the four of pentacles. Oh yeah. And so, okay. The higher font popping out seven of cut. Someone's thinking about you. This person's thinking about you. This is Scorpio energy. They're like, hmm, what's up with Scorpio? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Should I return? So Eight of Cups does indicate that someone has left. Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Someone's thinking about you and it doesn't look like there's communication. So show me Scorpio. Queen of Cups. Look at you. What's up with that? So I'm getting the energy of availability. Your energy is available. Maybe, perhaps. Okay, yeah. Six of Cups. Come on now. You're extremely available, apparently. I see that you're thinking about someone a lot. You could be quite nostalgic or you, again, there's like a yearning in your energy, but it's, I don't know how to explain the difference because this person, again, they're coming in with like hot in the pants, right? Your energy is more so, you know, um, stability. And then also it would be nice to reconnect with somebody. Okay. Cause you're talking about a reconnection with the six of cups and it's something that's on your mind. It looks like you're, you're doing a lot of thinking about this. You're imagining things. You're imagining what it would be like if you were able to reconnect with somebody, what you would say, what would happen? You know, should I say this? Should I express this? Should I connect in this way with this person? That's what your energy is in right now. So it looks like you're contemplating, um, thinking about things, you know, you could be having a lot of memories returning to you, making you feel a little bit nostalgic uh, for the good old days or, you know, the way that things used to be something like this. Uh, give me one more on Scorpio with the queen of cups. You're looking really available. It's kind of like, no matter what's going on here with you personally, you're very trusting in what's next. You're putting your trust and faith in, you know, kind of like say lovey, what will be, will be what's meant for me will be mine. Uh, that kind of thing. Let me see this queen of cups, this star. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. You know, you've got your eye on the prize. That's for sure. You have a lot of, um, investment into your future that you're hoping to continue to watch it flourish and grow. There's some stagnancy here. So you're coming out of a stagnant energy and it looks like you're ready to feel into the vibe of success of your new goals and aspirations, or even just returning to a goal and aspiration so that, you know, you can feel secure. So I'm getting like security, stability, this kind of thing. But also again, it's bringing in this person somehow the energy is drawing this person in. So show me the dynamic really quick. There is distance between you and this person, no communication. Yes. That's confirmed now. Show me snake and third party. Okay. So yeah, the two of pentacles, this talks about juggling. Yeah, of course. And the king of pentacles. So there may be an earth sign. Perhaps you're dealing with an earth sign, Scorpio. Hmm. I'm wondering who has the extra influence or the interference because I'm seeing two different things. So perhaps you and a person that you know both have interference and you know this. That's a specific message for someone. Show me the two of pentacles. Okay, the empress. Wow, really? 
Deception, Shady, and Enemy. The Four of Wands. Okay. <laughs> this could be marriage. There may be um, a, a massive influence because of marriage that's involved. That's between you and someone here. Yeah, a very serious relationship, even if it's not specifically marriage. Where's Scorpio on this third party, just quickly? Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Okay, it looks like you're real curious. So it, you could be kind of scoping the scene. Again, you know, you're looking real curious about a situation or you're thinking about it a lot. You're on the outskirts kind of thinking about this new beginning that will come about. Actually, I feel like this is coming in. I do. How this person sees Scorpio. They see you as a four of cups. That's interesting. If only they knew. <laughs> that, okay, so the ten of pentacles. Well, so the thing is, you don't look very interested to this person. And looks can be deceiving, okay? Because you're in the energy to them as if you're not interested. You're just kind of apathetic to the dynamic and not doing much toward it. They're also talking about you having some sort of dissatisfaction in general. And of course, this could have to do with money and success. There's something that is just not quite up to par for you. This also may be your environment, your family situation. You're not fully fulfilled is what this person is saying. Like they know that you have something you want and it kind of would complete your picture. It's picturesque, you know, situation. What is this four cups anyway? Ace of swords. Well, page of wands. You may have received some information to like a, like a message, let's say, okay, that message that we're referring to, you may have received a message from someone or you will, and it doesn't look like you're very responsive. So this person feels like you may not want to speak, that you're not interested in a conversation. Okay. That's all they're saying about you. How does Gorbio see this person? The two of swords. Interesting. And the four of swords. Uh, give me one on this addiction, by the way. Let's look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Why? Why the Seven of Swords? High Priestess. Six of Swords. This person may be someone who is um, very much so in a solo energy. They may feel more secure that way, or this is just the lifestyle they're living. They're in some sort of like, I enjoy what I want to when I want to type of energy. And you may know that about them. There's tension here between you and them. Lots of tension. Okay, why the two of swords? The king of wands. Okay, yeah, interesting. Five of swords. Is it, You know that this person is very much so capable of making drastic changes. So this may be someone that you see as dynamic or spontaneous or someone who feels certain urges and they act upon them normally. And you're saying that they're not doing that right now. Like this is like a go getter. I'm on top of my game. If I want something, I get it. I talk, I ask, you know, maybe I even lead, but they're not taking the lead here. You're saying that they've put that on hold or on pause or it has been blocked. So some pathway between you and this person is blocked. The Queen of Swords, interesting. And the lovers are right. 
Okay. Wow. King of cups. That's your energy. Someone feels, um, they're drawn to you right now, especially right now. This person is feeling very drawn to you, like wanting connection, wanting togetherness. Okay. So this lovers is very intertwined. Whereas other lovers cards are more, you know, they're standing apart a little bit. This is someone who wants connection and deep connection, even physical connection with you. That's what they're feeling that they want. And especially with the, you know, the King of Cups, that's your energy. So you're in the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. And the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. That's so interesting because there's something that's telling you that you're not sure you should return to this. You've got a lot of thoughts about that. You have a lot of thoughts about walking away and whether it's permanent and what your options are. It's, this could be like continuous thoughts or, you know, you are feeling like you're kind of not sure what approach to take. Do I remain gone? How do I not care? Like you could be trying to detach emotionally from this person or detach some sort of need or something along those lines. Give me one on Scorpio's finances here. Why is that there? The devil. Well, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, three of pentacles there. The thing is you have a very strong energy coming in about the devil. There is a collaboration that will be coming your way that could involve you needing to put your all into it could be strings attached for some of you. This is giving the energy of nothing in life is free. So, you know, kind of hint, hint on that. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You probably know what I mean um, more than I do, but the money problems, work, material things and success is going to change. So I see in the future, you're going to be feeling this drive, this ambition to kind of do what you've been needing to do. There's something you need to do and you know, the feeling space is not enough at this point. So again, you're moving into that practical energy, Scorpio. So what is the devil though that came out when I apparently put away the seven of wands? Okay. You may not know what to push for. You may not know how to apply yourself. Perhaps your drive or your ambition kind of fell by the wayside for some time. You may have felt like um, external circumstances were pushing against you and it made it difficult for you to actually be on your A game. Okay. This could be your energy. It could be uh, energy levels even, and this could be people in your environment that are kind of throwing you off or you have like threats in the environment and may not be like a full blown, like safety threat, but okay. Threats to your well being, let's say is what I'm getting. That is changing. Um, you felt this here is what it seems. Give me one on that secret crush. Yeah, emperor. Shoot. What is the emperor? Two of cups. Damn, Scorpio. So whoever is very established here is, um, there's someone here who's very, very established who... is coming in, uh, or this is you. And there's a connection coming in alongside that, that you could have a collaboration that will somehow adjust some type of the finances. Okay. Cause there may be some sort of standstill that you're experiencing. Okay. Yeah. The blockage. All right. So that's, what's coming in Scorpio. Tell me one on the snake, 10 of swords, betrayal. Someone's getting betrayed or that has potential to maybe this has already happened Scorpio because it is known, but there's a betrayal with the juggling, this empress energy, third party snake. Yeah. Deception and betrayal. What is this? Ace of wands. Here we go. So there's a new beginning after this anyway. Tower. One more on that Ace of Wands that's coming in. Yeah, the other Seven of Wands. Okay. Justice. Mm, 
Hmm. Where's Scorpio in this? The Ten of Cups. And the other person? Seven of Swords. The sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Devil. Yep. All right. So the person coming in is the one who has an attachment. If it's not a full blown person, this could be someone that comes in with strings attached. You know, nothing is free. This may also be someone who, yeah, there may be other, other people involved and this is kind of known. Um, someone has intentions that will create a scenario of kind of like the energy of deception. Okay. That's, that's what they're coming in with. And I feel like, you know, this, that's the thing. All right. So like, it's like nothing is free, you know, uh, but there's a seductive element to this as well. There's a temptation. What this person wants a Scorpio, please. Hangman. Okay. What is, what are they doing there? the fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so knight of cups twice, someone's trying to come through Scorpio with the offer for you. They're trying to come out of a standstill, a holding pattern. They're trying to see where you're coming from and then be able to well show you where they're coming from as well. This is someone who wants to get out of some form of limitations with you. They may be waiting for you to respond even to see how far this can go. Cause right now it's like a bunch of stagnancy. What does Scorpio want with this person? You want the three of cups. Yeah, so interesting, Scorpio. Why the three of cups? Six of cups. The, okay, that just screams reconciliation. So the five of swords, yeah. Okay. That's just, that's what it is. Very interesting, Scorpio. Today, this is an interesting reading. Tell me about this person. I'm not getting a good like read on their energy uh, apart from you know what was said they're in like a very earth energy so we've got nine of cups yeah super solo nine of cups here it is they're the emperor and the knight of wands This is pursuit. It's the energy of bravery, of confidence, of putting themselves out there, not fearing uh, rejection is what the energy they're moving into. So you may actually be, for some of you, you may be the Scorpio that will reach out to this person. So the two of cups. Yeah. Okay. There's a strong desire to connect with this person. There's passion. There's desire. There's uh, some sort of a collaboration that could be offered as well. Again, this person does act on needs and wants and desires. What was Scorpio's connection to this person in the past? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, justice. Okay. Wow. You, wow. Justice and higher font Knight of Cups. You may have a, is this marriage Scorpio? This is kind of the energy that it feels, or you had a major collaboration with this person at one time. There was an offer for this offer for long-term, uh, you know, working together or being in a full-blown commitment relationship that could have led to marriage. That's the energy that's here. And perhaps that's where the betrayal came in Scorpio. All right. Why don't we go ahead and pull the next moves? Scorpio still in the head about it. Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, where's Scorpio? Interesting. Ooh, look at you. This person. Page of Cups. There we go. Nine of Cups. Someone's imagining this new beginning with you. There is an offer, Scorpio. Okay, one more right here. I'm Scorpio. 
Uh, Seven of Swords. You're playing it safe with this person. It looks like the offer is here. It's coming in. You're really kind of trying to understand where, where you need to be at this point and whether your priorities are aligned here. It feels like you and you, but also you're cautious toward this person. You're looking at the risk and does it... Is the reward worth that risk? Okay, because there's some sort of risky connection, and perhaps it's because of the Ten of Swords, kind of like deception, temptation, and en en enemy <laughs> temptation energy, the betrayal energy. That's why you're playing it safe. But this person still is wondering, hey, Scorpio, what do you want here? Okay, so I do see you doing some reflection about this offer. It looks like there's more of you still thinking about things and kind of feeling like maybe this isn't a good idea. Let me think on it. So I do see you're going to sleep on this energy maybe for quite some time. It looks like you are trying to play it safe, but there's still some sort of um, a yearning here. Okay, so let me get a card for Scorpio for an advice card. Empress. Well, damn. And the Queen of Cups. Why Empress? Oh. If you are a masculine Scorpio, I see you disconnecting from this feminine energy who's had a major influence on you. And it looks like things are easier for you away from this individual for this time period, however long that is. You're taking more so an easier route, okay? Now, some Scorpios, male or female, this may also be like a mother figure kind of energy that you are retreating from because it puts your values in question, it puts um, your own self-worth in question as well. It's almost like you'd have to compromise your own self. Okay, so I see that as well. Four of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. You're adjusting or you're needing to make adjustments to your own self-worth value as well as how you provide this for other so i feel like you're making adjustments to that yeah the eight of cups but it's not in collaboration with this person okay you're slowly detaching from someone and Keeping to yourself, it looks like that's what you're doing. You have to weigh up the risk, the pros and cons. I feel like that's your main energy as advice. Of course, let me pause and I will pull some cards for you. Okay. Can we get a focus point for Scorpio? Regarding this energy, what will be beneficial and supportive for my Scorps to focus on? Mmm very interesting yes yeah, Scorpio this is a time for you to weigh up pros and cons decide where you are headed and how to get there now's the time to put one foot in front of the other and start making moves toward your goals and aspirations and somehow some way it's not you may associate some sort of goal or aspiration with this person but this is saying for you to kind of hold your own and you have the capability to hold your own. Maybe you're going at it alone, or this is what you're being guided towards so that you won't have this um, kind of risk to have to take with a person anymore. So this could be in business or love, but it says to hold your vision. Remember why, okay, what's your why? Why are you doing this? Why are you showing up every day? What are your goals for success? And what does that look like? And how do you continue on that path? Okay. Wow. So luck is on your side. Perfect card for this energy. New moon in Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to be surprised because you may feel that something may not work out for you, or it, it's kind of like a hurdle could be bringing in challenges and difficulties, but actually something's going to go smoother than you thought. 
Okay. So it's more so that you're going to have, uh, maybe you're, how do I say this? You are seeing something as more challenging than it actually will be because you'll have luck on your side, a stroke of luck. The energy will support you. Okay. So I feel like you have to do your part by taking those steps and making those moves. And it looks like spirit coming in to support you here. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah. What are we talking about? Goals. You have goals, aspirations. Um, is this person in alignment with that or will it create more tension in the energy? Will it create more difficulty? Focus point for Scorpio, please. Okay. White Buffalo calf woman. All right. Let's see. My heart is a compass and the path of love is true abundance. Okay. Wow. So this is saying to follow your heart. Your, I feel like your heart is invested in where you're headed. You're coming into alignment with your purpose or some sort of divine guided purpose that's coming in. It's divinely guided. You feel this way with this six of um, swords, the queen of cups, the star card. You're going where you need to go. Okay. You just have to hold your vision and keep at it. If you feel you're not good enough or it's not working out for you, it does look like it will. Okay, one more. It actually will. All the energy here is talking about you continuing. Okay, so I'm going to take this top card that came out. Ooh, I love this though. Okay, so it says the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. Yeah, you have to be loyal to yourself. First and foremost, are you being loyal to yourself, Scorpio? And what does that look like? Are you compromising your goals for other people? Or for other people's needs and wants? Maybe someone set you out on a path that they thought was best for you. Like, you know, this would be great for you, Scorpio. This is for you. And you tried that, but now it's time for you to do what's true for you. As opposed to what someone thought was good for you. So here we have the queen of the heaven and the earth. I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. Yeah. Okay. Some of you, this does have to do with marriage, by the way, but I do feel that first and foremost, it's um connection with self and your authenticity. Okay. Thank you, Scorpio. And I'll see you next time.